Yo, what is up, y'all? Willie Beeman here, getting ready to bring you guys a beginner's guide to my player creation. So this is going to be a guide for anybody that's new to 2K or doesn't know much about 2K. I'm going to go through a lot of the basics for you guys. And if you're not new to 2K or if you want to see a more in-depth guide, I'm a, I have a guide on my channel that goes into more detail on some attribute caps and different creation details that might help you guys out. You can go to my channel and check out that, uh, that video or you can click on the card in the top right right now. There it is. All right, well, let's get into it, y'all. All right, first screen is gonna be your vitals. None of this really matters for your my player. You can make it whatever you want. You know, your first and last name, where, <clears throat> where you're from, your jersey number, your handedness sort of matters. You know, you can make this left-handed or right-handed. This essentially is the hand that you shoot with. Uh, as far as gameplay, it's not really gonna matter. Um, just kind of pick the one that you want. So the next screen that we're gonna go over to is your position choice. So you have five positions to choose from. Um, you can either be a point guard, a shooting guard, a small forward, power forward, or a center. So basically this is the start of your creation. What position do you wanna play in your my career, in the park, or in the rec center? Um, what type of player do you wanna be? All of them are good choices. All of them have certain attri attributes and certain badges that, that pertain to them. But essentially what you can do is just pick whichever one you feel feel comfortable with. So I'm just going to pick small forward. We're going to go on. Okay. So uh, Now we're going to get into more details right here. This is where it really gets a little bit complicated, but I'm going to try to simplify it for you guys. So essentially what you're going to have are primary skills and secondary skills for your my player. So essentially, I'm a small forward, and I have five primary skills, or six primary skills that I can choose from. So essentially, these are going to be six things that I do really well. So your primary skill is going to be your driving force into how your attributes are divided up. So if you look at the driving and finishing, this is going to be people that are dunking the ball a lot more often. They're going to be able to come to make layups a lot more often. Their vertical is gonna be really high. They're gonna have a lot of speed and acceleration. You know, a lot of those things. You know, Shot Creator is gonna be more of a guy that has a mid-range game and can shoot off the dribble, do spin jumpers and things like that. They're pretty balanced build, so if you want something a little bit more balanced, you know, you can go with Shot Creating. Three-point shooting is gonna be basically all the sharp shooters out there. So this guy is going to primarily focus on making jump shots. So if you want to spot up on the three, you want to shoot from deep, that's going to be where you want to go. Passing and ball handling is all the uh, floor generals and the dribble heads out there. If you want to dribble and you want to be the ball handler and you want that to be something that you're really good at, this might be the archetype for you. Defending. So this is going to be all our lockdown defenders out there. You know, if you want to play defense, you want to play it well, this is going to be the archetype for you. And uh, last but not least is post scoring. So this one right here, the post scoring one won't be on every single one. Um, so it just kind of depends, you know, these kind of mix up, but you know, the driving and finishing shot, creating three point passing ball handling, defending, you know, those are going to be across the board. Now your secondary skills are essentially going to be the same thing and they'll affect your build um, as you switch them, switch them across. So if you pick a driving and finishing primary and a driving and finishing secondary, then this is going to be what's called a pure build. Pure builds are going to essentially be great at what they do, better than anybody else, but they're not going to be balanced. So this person is going to be able to dunk, but not be able to shoot very well. So if you look at the three-point shot, you're maxed out at five bars. That means your attribute for three-point shooting whenever you create your player is not going to be that high. Um, it's, you know, same thing across the board. So you can go to some other, you know, let's go to three-point shooting. If we do a pure three-point shooter, so this is a pure sharpshooter, their mid-range and three-point shots are going to max out. Um, but if you look at their dunks, they only get two bars. So this this person is probably not going to be dunking on anybody anytime soon. Sharpshooters are a very, 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 um, very specialized build. But it is a good build. If you, if you want to shoot, you know, this is going to be the build for you. So primary, secondary. Then you have your attributes to the right, which essentially tells you what you're gonna like what your attributes are gonna be in each of those categories so layups dunks mid-range three-point you know ball handling is gonna be your dribbling 
passing is going to be your ability to pass the ball. So if you got a, if you have high passing, you know you're going to throw crisper and more on point passes. Post offense is for mostly for big men, you know, doing post fades and things like that. Rebounding is grabbing the rebounds and boards and stuff, you know, steals, blocks, vertical. You know, vertical is going to be something that, that you'll need for both dunking, you know, layups, and grabbing rebounds. Lateral quick quickness is going to be your defensive attribute. So this is how quickly you can move left to right whenever you're playing defense. Speed is just going to be speed. That's either on offense or defense. And acceleration is how quickly you get up to that top speed. So acceleration and speed is sort of go hand in hand, but acceleration, if somebody has max acceleration but zero speed, they'll get up to that their top speed really quickly, but they won't run very fast. Strength is going to be something that's used a lot whenever you're either playing defense or guarding someone in the post or trying to go for a rebound. The higher your strength is, the more you're going to be able to push somebody around whenever you're trying to get positioning or something like that. Or even if like you're a lockdown defender and you're trying to guard somebody, they're not going to be able to run through you with the ball or get past you very well if you have high strength. And then stamina is uh, basically how much you can use your turbo, turbo, you know, running around really fast. You know, you can either use turbo or you can run, you know, normal speed and uh, the stamina will drain throughout the game. And the higher it is, you know, the more you can use it and the longer you can last. The last thing I want to show you guys on this screen is going to be the badge info. So if you press square on the controller, um, I'm not quite sure what that would be on Xbox or on PC. But if you press that button, you can go in and look at your badges. Now badges essentially come in four different types. Purple is Hall of Fame, Gold, Silver, and Bronze. So if you ever hear anybody talk about Hall of Fame badges, the purple ones are going to be what they're talking about. That's the highest of the high, and it's very difficult to unlock those badges. Each of these four um, badge tiers are going to take you longer and longer to get. So Bronze would be about 5,000 points, let's say. Silver would be about 20,000. Gold would be about 100,000 and then Hall of Fame would be about 250,000 points. So essentially for you to unlock these badges, you're going to have to unlock them in tiers. And in order to get the Hall of Fame badges, you'll first have to unlock bronze, then unlock silver, then unlock gold, and then finally unlock Hall of Fame. So the Hall of Fame badges are very difficult to get. They take a long time, but once you get them, you'll notice a significant difference in that ability. Now let's go over what the badges actually mean. <clears throat> so if we look at the first badge on the screen, Corner Specialist. So this is a, a very common badge that's been in the game for a very long time. I think 2K15 or maybe 2K14 was whenever it came out. And essentially what this badge is going to do is give you a attribute boost whenever you're doing that certain thing. So Corner Specialist is going to specialize in a corner shot. So if you're standing in the corner of the court, you catch the ball and you shoot it and you have corner specialists on hall of fame it's going to make the shot much easier to hit deep range dead eye that's going to give you an ability to shoot while someone is contesting your shot from deep and it not affect your shot as much so you'll be able to shoot contested shots a lot easier and make them you know go in a lot more often catch and shoot same thing if you catch off of a pass and shoot then you'll get a bonus so these these badges also stack together so if you're looking at these badges and you see corner specialists and catch and shoot if you're standing in the corner someone passes you the ball you catch it and you shoot it both the corner specialists and catch and shoot badges will activate so essentially if you have a sharpshooter that's a three-point shooting primary skill a three-point shooting secondary skill has corner specialists on hall of fame and it has catch and shoot on hall of fame they're essentially going to make every shot from the corner it almost makes it difficult to miss a shot from the corner so that's why the badges are, are a nice plus and you want to look and see what the badges are for each of the archetypes that you're picking and maybe pick some ones that you you think uh, you know match your style i'm not going to go over all of the badges because all of the the different builds have different badges there's probably 60 to to 100 different badges in this game um, so i'm not going to go over all of the different ones and of course if something is bronze it's not going to have as much of a, an effect as a hall of fame badge so if you have corner specialists on bronze, it's not going to increase your shooting chances as much as a corner specialist on Hall of Fame. So that's essentially the basics to how these archetypes mix. 
and as you switch these around you can notice that the badges on the bottom also change so you'll get different badges for different archetype combinations so you want to check the badges and I'll actually have a link in the description to a tool that will let you um, just look at the different badges based off of the different archetypes and things so go check that out in the description if you if you want to look at this uh, in a little bit easier and quicker way all right so we're gonna go we're gonna go passing and ball handling defending why not exactly what so next screen we're gonna go to is going to right the wall, be able to pick our height okay. so every my player has a height um, and the default height for each position point guard shooting guard small forward power forward and center have what's called a default height so that's what the height is going to be whenever you load in so I'm a small forward so my default height is six eight now if I would have picked point guard my default height would have been I believe six six three um, so it kind of goes on like that, you know, um, so if you pick a power forward or a center, their default height is going to be higher. And what you are going to do whenever you pick your height is also affect your attributes. So if we make our guy shorter, if you look on the right side of the screen, you're going to see a lot of our attributes are going to go up or down based off of our height. Um, this year, if you make your guy taller, he's not going to shoot as well. If you make him shorter, he's going to shoot a lot better. Um, and so you can see by the green and the red, the green is going to be an increase in that attribute and the red is going to be a decrease in that attribute. Now how much that number actually is, is not yet known. Um, there's going to be, I'm sure, a lot of you know comp computations and things like that that will go into more, more detail of that. Um, but that's essentially how that works. So let's pick 6'9", uh, we'll go a little bit above, so we're going to be a 6'9", small forward, playmaking defender. Now, next, what we're going to pick is going to be our weight. Now, weight is essentially the same kind of thing as your height. You're going to have some attributes that will be affected by your weight. And as we go down, you're going to notice that we have our contact dunks, our strength, and our box out are going to go down. Our acceleration, our vertical, our speed with ball, and our lateral quickness are going to go up. Which makes sense. You know, we're a smaller guy, so we're going to be faster, but we're not going to be as strong. Whereas if we go up in weight, we're going to be a bigger guy that can do contact dunks. You know, he can box people out for rebounds. He can push people out of the way, but he's not as quick as the as the smaller guy. So it essentially, you know, is is a, is logical. Now what we'll do is we'll just go we'll just go default weight. There's not a lot to explain on these the the weight and the wingspan. Which wingspan is next? Right here. They're very straightforward. There's not a ton of things that are going to be. Um, be affected now wingspan is essentially your length from finger to finger so as I increase out you'll notice my arms get longer and as I go in my arms get shorter now on the right side of the screen you'll notice that a lot of these attributes are majorly affected by wingspan um, and wingspan is not only going to affect your attributes here but it's also going to affect your ability to get rebounds and just have a little bit more reach um, so it's got a sort of a physical effect as as well as an attribute effect So longer wingspans are going to give you better contest, you know better steal, bl better block shot um, But also will help you get rebounds and maybe you know get a steal or something like that because you have better reach Whereas a shorter, you know shorter arms is going to give you better shooting and uh, better dribbling skills, which ball control is going to be your your a dribbling attribute. It'll give you, it'll make it where you can dribble a little bit quicker, you know, a little bit more crisp. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions about all of these builds and all of these uh, attributes and things like that, or if you want to check out the in-depth guide, you know, check out my channel and subscribe. And if you like the video, please leave me a like and comment down below your questions for sure. I'd love to help you guys out. Anyway, this is Willie Beeman, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.